Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Jamie Plays with me, Jamie. In fact, welcome to the 30th episode of our Borg playthrough of Star Trek New Horizons. So yeah, to bring you back up to speed, we are currently fighting a, well, not really fighting a war, but we are in a confrontation with the Voth. They are not moving out of their territory, I'm not Your moving into their territory, finally... um, because they have lots of fleets and things here. Um, we do have a bit of a problem, and that problem specifically is that we are losing energy and dilithium, both of which we can restore, that's fine, but we're also losing drones, which is very, very bad. So what I'm going to try and do is, um, definitely I need things like you, let's go upgrade. You can go upgrade there, for example. I'm going to be having um, these construction ships build things like sub-complexes wherever possible and that's so that we can make as many um drone producing buildings as possible for example build megastructure we eventually we will need a sub-complex to not be built around a star okay sub-complex let's build a sub-complex here for example and increase the speed so that is what these um this instructor will be doing so thank you to those. And the reason I'm doing that is because there's a building for drones, which, um, yeah, converts our nanites into drones, which we will definitely need. Another thing we should do is to be scooping colonies and things. That will... Uh, actually, no, sorry. Scooping colonies does not give us um, drones. But finding battles and things does. Let's also have a look at our planets, because maybe there's something here that we can change. So there are no jobs here. Let's resettle you to somewhere with a job. Somewhere like here. So there you are. And here in this unit complex, again, there is a drone without a job. Let's move you there. And let's unpause and see what happens. So also, I would while we're waiting for something kind of to happen, I would also like to apologize, um, so I haven't been uploading videos recently due to both um, a professional, some professional circumstances and some personal ones. So hopefully um, I'm now kind of back on my schedule of one a day or uploading videos and things. We will just have to wait and see whether that is actually absolutely tr actually true or whether something else comes back up. I think it should be okay now, but uh, I can't guarantee that unfortunately. New research. Let us increase our uh, starbase capacity. That because we are over capacity, so that will help us a bit. Looking at our starbases, do we have anything that is under? Nope. These are upgrading. So it's not as though we've taken over something that's weak and yeah, that we could get rid of easily. Unfortunately, all of these also should have dilithium. Um, producing things at the moment, so these facilities, Dilithia Manufactory, and it looks like we do have one. I know that I've been through these before, but I'm wondering if maybe I accidentally jumped over one or what's happened there. If not, what this will mean is that we need to build Dilithium producing stations, uh, sorry not stations, but uh, buildings within the within our unicomplexes and subcomplexes. Um, in order to be able to create more dilithium. Here, let's go for... Transwarp Conduit. This again gives us better warp energy. Let's go for the Borg Focused Cutting Beam. That will help us with... Yeah, that's, that's a good one, I think. Although this one is also good. Yeah, but let's go with the Cutting Beams for now. Oh. I did forget, in the last episode, we are trying to increase our trained officer production by 5%. For the Borg, these are the drones. So hopefully that will help us, and they will be finished in 15 months. So fingers crossed, everything goes well. So sub-complex, you should be finished. But it's going to take you a while. Actually, I think... Go here. Let's try and... Pretend to build another subcomplex. Build megastructure. It takes us 456 days. So we're about, what was it, 40% of the way through? Yeah, so 
Yeah, it will be finished probably this year because we're in May. It should be finished by towards the end of the year. Army damage and ship weapon damage. So our fleets are very much uh, exposed at the moment. Why don't we sell off some alloys? Like so. That then puts us to the maximum for energy, which is fine. Uh, we're now in positive for dilithium, so I'm not really sure what happened there, but we're now fine. So you have a job. Let's move you to somewhere like here. Somewhere that needs a job. Same with you, although you're about to get another position, so I'll leave you there. I'll leave you as you are. So, our conquests or assimilation goals are a little bit on hold at the moment. Because we are, I mean, our, I'm sure with these fleets we're still fine. We could still definitely take on uh, all of these and be fine. But they are fighting at, 75, at a 75% reduction in terms of things like fire rate. And I don't want that to necessarily... Yeah, stay that way. I would prefer to fight on a on our best foot, on our best footing. Let's upgrade these. I mean, we do have. We're almost at our limit. But we should definitely try and use all of the minerals we can whenever possible. Let's add in some more grown hives. Enthusiasm and passion are never wrong. Your they, only mistake was allowing them to distort your judgment. They want us a peace offer. This will be humiliated. We will lose... Inf our influence gain will be reduced. Yeah, we definitely don't want that. Decline. It's not as though they're winning against me anyway. I mean, can we, we declare peace? Two for peace, minus 54, minus 53. We, I think we just basically need to wait. And we shall be fine. What? So, I think the next thing that we will do is go after the Rakari Third Imperium, take all this. It probably will bring us to, into conflict with the Scytherians, but I think we'll be fine. I mean, I doubt they will move outside of their borders, just like the Voth are not doing. From here, once we take this, I think it will then be good to take the, uh, kind of the Doci. Confederacy, and I think they are allied with the Wadi Emirates. So the Rakari, taking over the Rakari would give us the Rakari Third Imperium, and the Prelor Auxiliary, and I believe the Kravik zero, as well. Zero, zero. Yes. So we would have to defeat those as well. Then we could take the Rakari Third Imperium, then the Dosai, um, who are with the Wadi, who are uh, Wadi, Wadi Emirates are over here. Take this, then we could go after the Dominion, and he then the Caraman with the Ocean Hunters here. Ah, so our sub-complex is finished. But what we want is the Drone Repurposing Center. And what we also want is this construction vessel. Let us, you know what? Can we build a sub-complex? Nope. But we can build another one here. So let's build another sub-complex there. And for this subcomplex, we will, once we have the population, we will move them to that, to this subcomplex. In order to fill that, these roles. Oh, you've cancelled your auto exploration, but you're preparing for upgrades, then trying to auto explore again. Maybe, maybe it will work, who knows. But we're back at the max for alloys. The thing is, we could... No, we cannot build a ship because of, of course, the drones. So, complex beta, let us resettle you to our newest sub-complex, which is down here. Like so. And you can build something else. Let's go for the equilibrium depot. We will definitely need one of those. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
I'm wondering. You. You were the caravan. Okay. New research. Ah, oh, yes. So that has increased by from minus twenty-three to minus seventeen. So that's good. Let us increase command limit edict duration. Huh. None of these are amazing. I guess. Resettlement cost. And then actually, let's look at our edicts. Uh, sorry, edicts, edicts. They are here. Still doing the energy gathering. So, oh uh, yeah, that's. I was looking for this one to see if we could actually. Yeah, increase our energy production anymore, but we cannot. So no point in crying over spilled milk. Up complex, how are you doing? Let us build the drone hives while you're waiting as well. So I'm just wondering what we could try and scoop at the moment. And by scoop, of course, I mean harvest. Harvest this colony. But you're preparing for upgrades and then going to... going down here. I'm wondering, can I harvest this colony here? Nine pops. I mean, any pops will, of course, be helpful. Oh, we're back in the positive for drones at plus one. That's something. So it will take us a very long time to get up back up to the a good number of drones, but it's a start. It's a start. Although I do have an issue because we are building a tactical cube. Our first tactical cube, I believe. But you have a cube. Those are normal cubes as well. Do we have an Omega cube somewhere? Act oh no, we do have a tactical cube already. So I guess I lied there. We do have a tactical cube already, but we're about to have a second one, which will probably put a strain on our drones, our drone production. Although hopefully... So two assembler jobs here, so there's definitely a little bit of room to create more. But, unfortunately, I do have the feeling that it's going to take us... I mean, that we will go over that very quickly. So one of our assembler positions has now been filled. So let's see how much this increases by at the end of the month. As we upgrade. So, it's gone up by eight drones. Okay, that's great. What we can also do is you will eventually be able to be upgraded. So that's something. So, let's look at our science vessels. You're going to upgrade. You're assisting research and assisting research. But what I'm going to have to do is you. Let us send you to assist research there, because most likely that's what's going to happen. So it's going to upgrade. They'll find somewhat quickly that, yeah, it's done. And then they'll. it will try to... No, it already tried to uh, explore and there was nothing there. Research New research. Starbase capacity plus one. Let's go for the armor hit points. And here, let's go for the... I guess let's go for the transwarp conduit eight. So you can upgrade. So do that and then move back to Moya. You can upgrade and then go back to Orin. You can upgrade and then go back to Kotl. You're still upgrading. What are you missing? Oh, actually, you know what? Stop upgrading because I think it's now done. Oh, 203 drones. That's what you're missing. But these three can upgrade because they don't require drones to upgrade. The tactical cube requires 21.74 drones per month. In other words, the next tactical cube we get, I think, will be detrimental to our... Uh, Saurian League left the Star Assembly. Oh, okay. So it's just the Nebrai, the Frangi, and the Denobulans left. Interesting. In the hub, let's resettle you again to our subcomplex. Move you down and employ you there. Please upgrade. 
our own hives. Yep, lots of everything. You can build another building. Let's go for the data node. Always good to be able to do research and things, although I do believe I'm now kind of at the end of the tech tree. Considering this kind of plus five percent, I think these are just repeatable uh repeatable techs. Fleets upgraded. Oh, those vessels have been or those fleets have been upgraded. And they're now moving back. Oh, you know, you're still moving there. You're still moving there. But you've upgraded? No, you haven't. Something's still missing. Oh, you know what? I think it was this constructor right here. Sorianly given association status by the Alliance of Galactic Powers, which is Trill, Trill, Bejor, and Beta Z. So you now have the second subcomplex. I'm wondering, let's go to Favela and build a subcomplex there. So you, let's move you to our new subcomplex, like so. And in the new subcomplex, we're just going to do the same thing. So. Drone Repurposing Center, Hive Equilibrium Node. This construction ship is almost finished. You, what I want you to do... Actually, let's go to Keef instead. Go directly to Keef. And we're gonna try and harvest. No, requires no truce. Hmm. What we could do is try then to go to Jacobo. We could try and take the Docile first. It will make our war against the Rukari a little bit more difficult because then we need to... This, we have all of this front rather than just having this front. And these in small individual ones. But I think we'll be okay. I think we'd be okay. You know what? Let's try and harvest this colony here. So you, or actually Vasco, what? You have 34. That's a good number. And you have 30. Actually, maybe let's go for Vasco first. You're going to enter orbit there. New research. Let us increase our... Oh, trained officer production. Yes, please. Oh, we're now at plus 57. That's good. Anyone without a job? Nope. You all have jobs. So, asset one was fully upgraded, so you're now moving back, as was kind of anticipated. Actually, maybe now would be a good time to go against the Rokari, once these have fully upgraded. For example, you're upgrading. Actually, can we reinforce anything? You're missing the Omega Cube. You have everything. You have everything. You're missing some probes, it looks like. Two, three. But for some reason I can't build you directly? No, they're only probes. It's not as though I'm missing much in terms of firepower. So it's just you left. Shipyard. Okay. So you. Upgrade. 203 drones. 108. Um, where are my special resources? But the chemocyte, which you have. And 806 alloys, which you also have. So why is this not upgrading? It is upgrading. Was it not upgrading before? Yeah, it's still not actually upgrading. Although here it says... Hmm. I wonder if that's a bug or whether that's a different... Yeah. Because this technical cube also is not upgrading. Fleet upgraded, okay, but... Obviously not quite, not fully. So you are here. 
You'll be fine there. Let's just move this fleet over here. And you will move there as well. You're in position. You're coming into position. Okay. You are not in position, but tactical cube, which is not upgrading when I don't really understand why. But we'll just say that you're finished. You here in Varney, can you... Build a sub-complex? No, only build a one... Yeah, okay, so we're building one somewhere else here, so we cannot do anything yet. We're losing drones in six months. Why are we suddenly losing drones? Can anybody explain that to me? Why are we suddenly now losing drones rapidly? Well, what we can definitely do is put you there. That will help. Move you up. Um, let's, because you're not doing anything, build all of those districts. So we're about to have a drone problem again. You resettle. Go here. And boom. Secondary adjunct. That's fine. So, and now we're at 33 again. I really don't understand this. Let's go for the data node yet again. So, consumed because of ships. Jobs and buildings are producing them. I mean, I wonder, does the... If you were at a starbase, would that change the... So, here at our starbase, alright, yeah, starbase, we have the crew quarters. Base upkeep, one energy, okay. And dock shipped upkeep minus 33%, so is that also to do with the drones? I thought that was only to do with the alloys or the energy, but maybe not. Oh, look at that, tactical cube. Oomp. Okay, so now the question becomes, what do we do? Why is this being weird? Construction Matrix complete. 2? Nothing we can actually do here at the moment. Nor there, nor there, nor there. And what we could do is replace one of these with a maintenance depot. But what do we do about... Yeah, what do we do about our drones? That is really an issue here. Max is 40, okay. We can't have more than 40 star bases. So we will be operating above that limit. That's, I guess that's fine. So, okay, you here. Because we're waiting, let us try and just harvest that colony. Since there's nothing else we can seem to be able to do right now, let's do that. Hopefully this doesn't necessarily cause a war. If it does, it's not really that big of an issue. Because we do have... I mean, we can easily take on the Docite and the, the Wadi, that's not a problem. We have a fleet here, we can quickly move this fleet round here. I'm not worried, to put it mildly. These two fleets we can re... Uh, we can move around as well. If we do come to war against them, but I think we'll be fine. These look like they're just repeating, and every time I do the Starbase capacity, it's not actually increasing. Let's go for the Minerals. Again, not that it really matters at this point. Yeah, why are we upgrade? Yeah, decline that. I will not bow my... The Borg Collective does not surrender to the... The Voth. So 
let's see if we can take Bosco. If so, I mean, that would be nice in terms of... Oh, yeah, we have nine. Oh, why do we have nine there? Oh, let's resettle them anyway. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. One. Yeah, that's good. All of these can then build something else. Secondary maturation chamber. You have that already. Let's do the defense node and the data node. Upgrade, upgrade. Yeah, silo. That will be fine. New research. Governor level cap, beam weapon damage. Torpedo warhead damage. So our ships, our ships, beam, hold on, I will get there in a minute. Light interspatial charge, cutting beams. So this is torpedoes, these are beams. Yeah, okay. So if we look at something like the cube vessel, oh, I didn't mean to make it split off. So the cube vessel, alternating beam and torpedo, but mostly beam. So phase torpedo, very heavy phase torpedo, very heavy interspatial charge, interspatial charge. You have the tactical cube, also mostly beam weapons from the look of it. So for our research, let's go for the beam weapon damage. You can upgrade, but do we want to upgrade? Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's upgrade. Moya, upgrade, and then come back. You upgrade and then come back you upgrade and you upgrade and then go back to the same place we're losing dilithium as well i wish there was a repeatable for the drones and for the dilithium that would be amazing but if we look at our modifiers, we have no temporary modifiers. Yeah, I mean... Reform government. There's nothing that we can reform. Okay, well, nothing to do there. question is, what are we going to do? I was hoping to fix our drone issues in this episode, but it looks like they won't be fixed. So, oh, we were able to take their colony, that's good. Let, uh, another step closer to perfection, that's always great. So, resettle you. Oh, and they'll be added to our own. Let's move you here, for example. One... Resettle. Lots of drones have accidentally been put here. Let us move those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that one's now full. Nine here. So all of these. And one of you. Um, here we can move everyone else. Just like that. So you here, let us resettle. The movie you. Um, actually, we can just do all of you here. Three. And were there any normal drones? There were. One, two, and three. So, you. Uh, oh, actually, you're about to 
get enough jobs for everyone here anyway. So continue doing what you're doing. Give you an upgrade. All of these need to be upgraded, like so. This one's finished. So is that one. This one has two more jobs, but this maintenance station upgrade I believe will give it enough jobs. This habitat is new. So drone repurposing and hive equilibrium depot. Which means of course we have some... Why don't we try and take this next colony, enter orbit. You here. We can build a sub-complex. There. And you here. Oh, we can't build them around stars. But we could. Oh no, because we're building the other one. We could eventually build that. So here, oh, our last one. So increased unity from um, from assimilation. And the last ascension part. The flesh is weak. Interstellar Dominion, Starbase expansion. Mind over matter. Hmm. Starbase expansion will give us one more starbase buildings. Sensor range. Influence cost. Pop assembly speed increase. Mind over matter. We don't really need unity anymore. Imperial prerogative. Again, we don't have any problem with administrative capacity. Edict duration. Leader pool size and level cap plus two. Maybe the pop assembly speed would be the best, or sensor range, because the rest of these don't really help us very much. Let's go for the flesh is weak. Increase our pop assembly speed. So that's that. So now for our unity, the only reason we might use it is if we go to our edicts. We have Starbase Reinforcement, but that's at 88,000 and we're only at 28,000. Or maybe not, who knows. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Um, if you have, please remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time for another episode of Jamie Plays. Bye for now.